Welcome to the second video on fine tuning and deploying Llama 3.2 on your own system. In this video, we are going to have or play around with the tools necessary to get the system running. Primarily, I will be focusing on Olama, the system you use to run the models, and how you can get it started on Hugging Face. There are other tools that are available. So many tools are available, but we are going to focus on these two only. So Olama is pretty great. We have many videos where we have shown how to install Olama in your local system and get started up very quickly. So what you can do is that I can go to the downloads here. Since I'm on my Windows, I can go to download for Windows, get the installation file, execute the installation file, and uh, that's it. Your Olama is running. On the status bar, you can see that this Olama is running here. You can go to a CMD and check if Olama is running there by just typing Olama. And you can see that all these flags and everything are available. We can see that list of models that I have by saying Olama list. And I can see that we have three models here. Now, how do you download these models? So we go to models here on olama.com. And if you go to by latest, we can see that Llama 3.2 is the latest. And this is the revolution Llama 3.2 by Meta. Please watch the first video in this series to get a thorough understanding of what this 3.2 model is capable of but in summary we have four new models these are smaller models which can run on device of 1 billion and 3 billion parameters and these are multi-model which can process text and images and returns text of 11 billion and 90 billion sizes the benchmark are pretty good the benchmark are pretty good but i won't go through the benchmark because it's better if we test this out so we can go to llama 3.2 here in Olama and you can just run this command so Olama run Llama 3.2 we can go to any CMD here and you can run Olama run Llama 3.2 since I already have this model so my model is ready for inference now now just I can cancel this and make it clear and just say Olama run Llama 3.2 and you can see our system is ready so what is the capital of India and I can see the speed is pretty fast. Write me a, a hundred words poem on AI. Okay, on AI. You can see the speed, that's pretty good. Now, if you want to check how many tokens is your system generating, what you can do is you can say Olama run Llama 3.2 and dash dash verbose if you put this command then you can see the list uh, the number of tokens that is generating uh, let's say uh, write me an essay 100 words on tomatoes okay you can see total duration is 1.6 seconds and load duration is 24 milliseconds it is able to load and these are the things that I want you to focus so 86 tokens per second uh, duration is 1.42 and total tokens is 123 and I want to, you to focus on this number 86.07 tokens per second that is pretty great for Llama 3.2 this is a 3 billion model now is this a 3 billion model let's check so I say Llama list and this looks like a 1 billion model you can go to the model page here and you can see the latest here okay so in the latest you can see that is 3.2 that's a 3 billion model so this is how we can get started with olama it's pretty easy but one of the other interesting ways that you can get started with uh, with llama 3.2 is using the hugging face library now you can go to this Llama 3.23b instruct. Now in the initial, initially we need to sign some agreements. And once you sign this agreement, you will have access to this model. So what you can do is I can go to my Linux system here, open to and open up Visual Studio Code Editor for here. I can say Visual Studio Code Editor for Ubuntu. So we have loaded we have a file name main2.py and in there I've copied this entire thing. So this is an instruct model. Now this part of the code we need to add because we want to download the model from Hugging Face. So 
get your hugging face tokens and put it here and your system is ready we need to install some libraries as well so pip install upgrade transformers this is one library we need to install a torch as well pytorch so for pytorch we can go to pytorch install and we can go to pytorch.org and here we can go to stable linux pip uh, let's say cuda and this command so we need to run this command to install pytorch we need to run we need to run this command pip install upgrade transformers to install the transformers library but once everything is ready we can go ahead and run this now i've set up a, a new environment as well so i've used conda for creating a new environment so conda create dash n llama python let's say 311 y using this command and thereafter activating conda activate llama we can go inside this environment and we are now inside llama so we can start up so python main 2.py and here as a system uh, we are giving this prompt of you are a pirate chatbot who will just respond in pirate speak and the content is who are you so let's start this and let's wait for the inference now using Using Hugging Face is great because it gives you access to more number of parameters than it's available uh, using Olama. But either way, if you want a very fast solution, you can use Olama. But if you want to have more control and more creativity, uh, you want to tweak the parameters, you can use, and you can see the lo login is successful here, the Hugging Face login, and it's downloading the shreds. It is downloading the model. It has already downloaded the model and you can see the response here. You're asking about me. This is the response that we get from the model. So in this way, we can get started with loading of the model from Hugging Face or loading of the model easily using Olama. In the next video, we are going to fine tune this Llama 3.2 with any particular data set that I will think about which data set to choose. But we are going to go with a default data set in the next video. In the subsequent video, we will create our own data set from any material that you desire. For example, you can go to any Wikipedia article or Wikipedia concept. Let's say, for example, we can go to this Wikipedia article of ethics and use this article to form some data sets, which subsequently will be used to fine tune our LLMs because, you know, it's always one step ahead. If you're thinking of just putting in this as a RAG application, it is pretty difficult to get good answers as you might have noticed. So what you can do is use this to form a data set which means question answer pairs and once you have those question answer pairs formed out of of this article then you can use those data set to find your llama 3 and deploy it on your device so that is going to be interesting two videos please stay subscribed to see the subsequent two videos and if you're interested to see how we can fine tune Llama 3.1, which was an earlier video that I made, you can watch this video, but else watch the other videos in the series.